it's Kimmy. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, this is very overdue, but I thought I would do a, you know, what's in my bag travel edition. Um, if you haven't seen any of my two other vlogs, I went to Phoenix and Florida this summer, and I kind of just, well, I guess I figured I'd show you guys what I packed with me. I took with me, this is my, I call this the big navy. <laughs> because it's a very, very big navy tote. Um, this is my Ray Bradley. I actually got this, what did I get this? I got this down at the outlets um, at the beach and I got it for a really good deal. You know, I figured, oh, you know, when I bought it, I was like, oh, you know, I will probably need this one day and thank goodness I have it because this is what I carried on the plane with me to Phoenix and in the car when we went down to Florida as well. My laptop, of course. Um, I actually did not take this to me, with me when I went to Phoenix, um, just because I didn't, um, I was only there for like maybe four days, I think, and I knew that, you know, I really didn't want to be traveling with a huge laptop and living in a hotel room, you know, even though I did not know this, but in Phoenix, they don't really do room service every day like most hotels do. So anyway, so I had this with me to Florida, not Phoenix, so... Pretty, the stuff that I have in this bag is kind of like, it's pretty much the same stuff I took with me to, from Phoenix to Florida, just like a few things were different, like the laptop, but anyway. So yeah, so I have my MacBook Air 13 inch. I love it so much. I will like cry if something would ever happen to her, so I love it very much. So. My Kate Spade uh, laptop case, I actually love it as well. So that's one thing I took with me. The thing I took with me is, you probably saw this before in my what's in my bag um, video. This is my takeout menus, um, kind of like pouch for my uh, business catalogs. And again, this is also another lifesaver for me because it keeps the books, you know, very clean, very precise, no little bent edges or scratches or whatever the case may be. So I took that with me both times as well. And then I have, again, here's another thing, another item you probably know already is my Longchamp. It's actually supposed to be, it's a, uh, a small cosmetic case, but I used it as a pencil case because I don't really carry makeup with me very often. Um, but yeah, so I have pens and pencils, highlighters, and all that, and there's a little scuff mark on it because of the pencils and pens, so I took that with me as well, because you never know when you need a pen and pencil. What was that? Oh, I think my phone's behind the camera, so. I was like, oh, what was that? Um, another thing I took with me also is this. It's the, um, Oh, it always seems impossible until it's done by Nelson Mandela. I love that. Um, I actually got this. Actually, I didn't buy it, but when I joined um, Origami, um, my mentor actually gave this to me the night that I joined. And inside she put a, a very cute quote. It says, Kimberlyn, congrats on making a great decision. I am excited to share this journey with you. I am always just a phone call away. XOX Holly. So, yeah, I love this. So I took this with me to kind of like keep little notes, um, to-do list. I even have like a packing list in here. Um, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, actually, yeah, this is my notebook that I took with me to convention uh, when we had the general sessions and other classes or workshops, excuse me. Um, I wrote you know, all of the notes in here and stuff, so, but yeah, so that's my notebook I took with me. And I don't know if I had it in Florida with me, I'm probably sure I did, um, just because I, when I came back, two days later we were leaving for Florida, so pretty much the only thing that really changed, really, uh, was my clothes for the suitcase, uh, my clothes and the laptop. I think that's pretty much the difference between the two. I also had this book, I took a book with me. Um, I didn't read it that much, I don't think, or well, maybe one day I read it when I was in Florida, but when I was on the plane, um, going to and coming back from Phoenix, um, I was reading this one, and I knew this was going to last me pretty much a while because it's so thick. Um, it's the Harry Potter and the 
Goblet of Fire. This is the fourth year one. Um, I actually never, when Harry Potter was out and very, like, the big thing, I didn't, like, watch any of the movies really or read the books because, <laughs> funny story, and this is probably why I like this. Um, when I was little, my mom uh, bowled a lot. Um, so one night, you know, um, we were at the bowling alley and they had, like, a like a little play area for all the kids to go in and stuff and we were watching a movie that day and this movie happened to be Harry Potter and I'm pretty sure it was when it first came out um, movie wise um, I think this is year one I'm not even sure I keep getting this part mixed up between the first year and the second year um, but it was the one with the big tarantula spider um, I mean, like, I was little, and for some reason, like, I, and I remember this, like, very vividly, you know, I remember we were all in, like, we had, like, chairs around the TV, and when this part came on, and they showed the, um, oh, I forgot his name, because I read the book, <laughs> um, I forgot his name, but it was, it's when they were showed the face, the, the eyes, the eight eyes, or something like that, and everyone was like, ah, like, hiding their eyes, and all that and I remember this so vividly and pretty sure ever since then, that day, that moment, that second, I was petrified of spiders and I still am. I still am. And I'm, I was probably like not really, that's probably why I was never really into Harry Potter. But then again, I was like a little little too by the way so I mean like that probably, you know, a contributor to that as well. Um, but yeah, like <laughs> I'm now actually reading the books and I actually like it so. so. I haven't even finished this yet. I've been on this book for like the longest time, I think. Um, I'm like halfway, a little, a, little, a little less than half, almost done, but yeah, I haven't really had got a chance to actually sit down and actually read it now, since now school back, since school is back in session now. So pretty much my time has been like homework, 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 homework. So but another thing I have is my, probably already know this as well, this is my pug pouch. I love it. It's empty right now because I'm actually using a different um, pouch I have. I kept all my miscellaneous stuff in here because when I was in convention, I, you know, this was my, this was my purse. This was my handbag for my four days that I was in Phoenix. Um, we really didn't go out to eat. Well, actually, no, we did actually. I lied. I'm sorry. The last day that I was there, last full day, um, we went to the, the was it Scottsdale's Fashion Square Mall, I think it's called. Um, and I had like one of my little long jumps with me with that, um, a little, a little one. I didn't want to carry a big bag because I knew that I would only use it like one day and I knew this bag <laughs> was my purse for the four days. So that's why, so all my miscellaneous was in here. Um, I will leave a, a link in the description below for my what's in my bag so if you guys are actually new to this channel or never saw any of my other videos um, I'll leave those in the link below so you can see what I carried and also my um, the Florida and Phoenix uh, vlog as well so yes and then I think oh here's my phone I lied I'm sorry my phone is here I thought it was behind you guys but it's actually I stuck it in my bag and didn't know so Obviously, I always carry my phone with me. I had, I'm not sure what person lessons I had. I had like so many. I'm pretty sure I had these. Um, but yeah, this is my another Vera Bradley. As you can tell, I, I love Vera Bradley. Um, yeah, my <laughs> my second one actually. My second sunglass case. I also got this at the beach as well. Um, but inside, I have just okay. I didn't wear these these ones. Um, I had my tan pairs. Wafers, I think they're. I think that's the style of it. I think, but they were brown. They weren't black. But, but yeah, you get the logistics basically. So that's that. Oh, crinkles! I didn't even know that. So I think that's it. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm pretty sure I had other things with me. I just since it's been you know a few weeks since I've been back. So my camera for some reason likes to shut off and I don't know when it shuts off so when it shuts off 
and I'm still going, I don't know, and it just does that thing. So I need to look into that more. So anywho, so yeah, um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, comment below, subscribe, let me know um, what video you guys want to see next. Um, the next video I think I may be doing is like a fall favorites kind of one. I've seen them so much and it's like, oh my god, it's like so awesome, I need to do one. So, and I, and I love fall, so that's, it's a win-win situation for everyone, I think. Um, but yeah, um, hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Always remember, be yourself, and it's always better to lead than to follow. I hope you guys have a fabulous day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!